Well, hello fellow Liberians, and welcome back to another game of making history. This is now I'm sounding like a Jamaican. Come on, I'm losing my African accent. This is not good. Anyway, guys, welcome back. We are, of course, continuing uh, as, he, as uh, no, not Sierra Leone, Liberia. i got to make sure that I have my, uh, my uh, sides right in this case. And we are trying to take Sierra Leone, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn here. Uh, if you guys were here for our last turns, you would know that uh, the enemy and us have been fighting for quite a while. We just got another cavalry unit, which we're going to send into battle. But all of this is actually costing us quite a lot. We're, uh, we're losing money. We're losing a lot of food, obviously, to feed these huge armies. But we need to win this war. We've got to get some more land. We're going to get a coastal territory, and this is definitely useful. Wow, the Kingdom of Afghanistan is broken away from Afghanistan, initiating an internal conflict. And I did promise that I would take a look here uh, for everybody interested at the two different kingdoms. We're kind of the reporters of the world. This is the Kingdom of Afghanistan trying to bring back a kingdom uh, in Kabul. Interesting. Against, of course... Uh, regular Afghanistan, which is a representative democracy, um, and is actually getting financial aid from Turkey, Russia, England, and Germany. Wow. I wish we could get some financial aid, right? Uh, I'm going to reject. They want pre-war borders. We can't accept that. Uh, let's take a look, see if they got any reinforcements. Wouldn't be surprised if they did. It looks like they didn't, but we're going to go ahead and send in our cavalry anyway. Um, and I'm also going to take a look over here just to see if we can talk to our American friends and maybe get some financial help. Uh, I doubt that they're going to say yes, but we've got to try to ask, right, guys? So let's jump over here, and let's see if maybe we can at least request some territory. No, we can't do that. Um, let's see. Can we request an alliance? I think we're already getting financial aid from them, 25. So I'm going to try to increase that for 10 more. Oof, we're really pushing it here at 445. Let's see if they'll accept that. They rejected it. They don't even really want to give us any financial aid, to be perfectly honest with them, with you, and uh, I don't blame them. But we've got to continue here, especially not since we're having a war. There's also a war going on here. Um, let's take a quick look here. It looks to be the Battle of Basins, and actually the attacker is Burkina Faso, and they're a socialist state, um, or part of Burkina Faso, whereas I think Togo of Ghana here, um, is fighting against them. So this is really cool. We actually have a socialist state in Africa trying to win a war um, against, uh, it looks like, some rebels, some uh, regular native rebels. So anyway, we'll come back to that, but we want to continue the turn. We're going to end our turn and hopefully defeat the enemy here very soon uh, because this war is dragging on, and this, this is a nation of constant civil war, constant conflict. We can't have this. We just can't. We've got to take over this area and then think of what our next move is going to be. Now, despite being low in the world on just about everything, Thing. Interestingly enough, our scientific research is actually 57%, or 57th uh, in the world, excuse me, which is not bad considering how tiny our nation is. Uh, we're going to have to keep focusing on that, try to keep getting those, those scientific uh, bits of research, and ultimately use them to destroy the enemy. Uh, let's take a look here. Insufficient resources for the coal plant, and all we can do here is continue our war. Um, I'm going to see if I'm actually building anything. Let's get a recruitment center. Like I said, we need to go full blast on war. We're also trying to build some enclosed farms, guys, to bring more food to our people. As you can see, we're hemorrhaging food. We've got to get that corn back. It's really our only, only resource. And uh, I'm hoping that by taking Sierra Leone here, we're going to be able to uh, have more resources. But I don't really know if that's going to be the case. So Cape Verde, Cape Verde is actually a Portuguese colony, or at least it was in the time of the First World War. Of course, we're playing the modern world mod, so these are all modern countries, which is really, really cool. Here we go. Okay, it looks like Kingdom of Upper Volta was founded and declared independence from Burkina Faso. And here we go, guys. This is awesome. Um, these are the rebels, and it looks like they're forming a theocracy. Uh, very interesting here. Uh, and they're fighting against, of course, Burkina Faso, the communist state. Uh, this is very cool. And if I wasn't in a war right now, I might declare uh, support for one or the other. Um, as you can see here, look at that. They have definitely changed the government of Burkina Faso into Basins, uh, the kingdom of the Upper Volta. <laughs> very interesting. All right, let's take a look here. I want to see if we're building any troops. I don't think we are. All right, we actually are building some more light cavalry, so I actually like that. Um, the battle continues, but the enemy is getting more and more uh, tired here. They're, once again, they keep sending in reinforcements, though. This is the problem. And those reinforcements are actually allowing them to sort of hold us back for now. The Kingdom of Samoa. I guess there is one kingdom less important than our country. Well, let's take a look here. Come on, guys. We've got to win this war. 
All right, Kingdom of Upper Volta annex Burkina Faso. So they have actually destroyed, guys, um, Burkina Faso entirely and created a theocratic state. Uh, so I'm sure you socialists are going to be very upset here. It also looks like the Chinese have attacked Mongolia. Now, these are, of course, two socialist states. Oh, no, sorry. Mongolia is an absolute monarchy. Um, and this is certainly interesting. So I'm going to jump up there. Actually, I want to take a look and see how this is going. So Mongolia, ooh, Mongolia is purple up here. Um, and they are now being attacked by China, the massive, massive country of China. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see how the battle is going. Once again, 12 to 2, not much has changed. We've just got to keep pumping in troops. Uh, there's no other way to take over. And also, we are researching uh, new guns, new uh, techniques, uh, things like this, things of this nature. We're really trying to focus on our military right now. So hopefully, just as we do that, we're going to beat these guys uh, merely with research. Uh, but this war is going on way too long. Light Cavalry has completed training in Monrovia. Yes. And we're, of course, going to charge in there. See if we can get them with a good hit. I'm not sure if we can. Charge, men! We must end this war now! Actually, they're getting reinforcement 13 to 3. Um, and we really, really need to get at least one kill here. Looks like the enemy's taking the majority of the casualties, but it's really not making me feel any better if they can just keep pumping out troops. Thirteen three. that's right. That's still not good. Um, I'm actually going to go here, take a look, and I'm going to switch to just militia. We want to get these troops out there quickly. So let's try militia. We're going to keep doing our regular research. And just keep trying to take over. There's really not much else we can do in this situation. We've started this war. We're not going to end it until we take their entire country. It's just not going to happen any other way. We will take them to the end and destroy them every single time. Uh, you know, that's the only way we can survive here as a tiny African nation. All right, we're going to continue, of course. And as this is all going on, we're also building those enclosed farms. So, uh, in a way, we, we are still doing okay as a nation in, in terms of infrastructure and that sort of thing. But, you know, right now our infrastructure is terrible. We have no gas. We have nothing, really. Uh, this, is, this is really, truly, very much like Liberia. Not a single natural resource. Uh, we're just getting paid by the U.S. to simply exist, essentially, um, in case they ever want a jumping-off point in Africa. But we've got to try to beat these guys in this war. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send in the 1st Army, or the 10th Army, excuse me. And let's see how this army is doing. 13 to 4. The enemy is getting more and more reinforcements, and I don't like that. Not at all. Uh, let's see what we can do here. All we can do is continue sending soldiers through the fight. Never, ever give up. This is why uh, wars in Africa never end, apparently, because the armies are so poorly equipped, both armies, that the fights could technically go on for a very, very long time. I mean, essentially, we've got bolt-action rifles, and we're fighting against bolt-action rifles. We don't have any real air power, we don't have any artillery power, and we're merely relying on the will of our men to fight. Here we go. Support for nationalism has increased within the government of Liberia. I like this. Of course, since we're taking over a lot of different countries, or trying to, this is certainly something that I want to focus on. So here we go. We actually get to pick something else. Um, infantry weapons is something we definitely want to go into, um, but high explosive shells are actually something that I think are a bit more important. If we could get some artillery into this battle, I would feel a lot safer. Uh, there we go. The enemy keeps getting reinforcements. And still at four, but we've got to keep overwhelming them. We really think that we may need to get to 20 uh, to be able to take this country in one turn. They're even trying to improve their infrastructure there. You can actually see the man working, and we can't have that going on during a war. We've got to make sure that these guys know we mean business. Okay, Russia has severed diplomatic relations with China. Wow. Uh, we've also got some more militia. Let's move them to Sierra Leone. And let's take a look at our boys doing the best they can, as always. I might try to do a diplomatic agreement with uh, Sierra Leone next, but really I won't accept anything but total surrender. So I don't expect them to, uh, to really work with me. Let's put it that way.
Might have to switch to light cavalry, I think. I wonder how many years this war has gone on now. Or actually, it's more like months or even days. I'll have to take a look here. USA, help us! Why can't you just send us some bombers? Send us something. I would love if the USA just agreed to send us a little bit of aid here. Um, let's go ahead and talk with these guys and see if they're open to reason. We're going to go ahead and propose, or actually offer peace. We want occupation. Cede all regions claimed by Liberia. And uh, let's do that. Um, just surrender claims. So we're going to cede all regions. And... Uh, we cede all regions claimed by Liberia. No, 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 no. Borders remain it is. All conquered regions are returned. No, we don't want that. So let's do the surrender claims. We'll offer peace. Peace treaty rejected. Of course, they're not going to accept that. Far too good for us and doesn't give them anything. Essentially, we're telling them, if you don't get out, we're going to destroy your entire country. Um, and that's how we're going to have to keep it going, guys. If we got to go rough with them, we've got to go rough with them. El Salvador, that would have actually been a really fun nation to play. Um, I actually have some friends from El Salvador, so that would have been kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and continue here. United States. Not giving me nearly enough financial aid, but uh, it is what it is. All right, guys. 13-3. Again, this just keeps changing left and right. Every turn, it's changing. Uh, but we are winning, technically. It's just it's taking us forever to break through the defenses here of the enemy. And until we get some new units, uh, some better units, through our military training and our research of, of different things, it's going to be very hard for us to make a dent in their forces, I think. But we're not going to give up. We will not surrender. We will never surrender to these dogs. We should also be getting that wonderful... Horse unit very soon. Light cavalry, excuse me. Uh, let's take a look here. 13-4. It's not good. And there's our wonderful light cavalry unit. Alright, come on. We need you in battle now. Actually, we needed you in battle yesterday. Um, I guess I'll keep going for the light cavalry. I'm not sure what I'm doing to myself buying all of these military units. Clearly nothing good. Um, I'm actually going to take a look at my government page here pretty soon and see how the people feel about me. Might not be very good. Um, we're going to take the light cavalry. Let's move. And let's take a look at our own government and see what the actual respect for the government is. Government support is only 7%. You know, this is not good. Um, right now, we're obviously losing money. Uh, we're, the taxes are going down, but uh, the war weariness is also really increasing. Um, people are just sick of this war. And uh, I can't give up because we've done so much here um, that I just can't give up without at least getting something in return. And in this, in this case, uh, this nation has absolutely no other territory, so they really are in no position to give me anything. Um, I think we just may have to deal with the war weariness, and if the nationalists take over, maybe we'll be better off in our next war. I'm not sure. Um, I definitely don't feel safe ending this war anyway because these guys will always know we attack them, and they'll seek war out with us in the future. Um, so this is a fight that has to end, and it's got to end here. Here, one way or the other. All right, All right, there we go. We've completed our enclosed farms. Um, we also got a recruitment center in Monrovia. I'm guessing this will actually allow us to build units faster. I may be wrong about this. And right now our factory order is not doing too well, um, unfortunately. We've got to look for other things we can build. Let's see, a cannery maybe? Power station? Let's try a cannery. And the cannery obviously can use the grain we have already. Um, that's what it makes. It makes cans with corn in them apparently or corn grain this sort of thing just all sorts of uh, different um grains um and uh maize that sort of thing we're gonna go ahead and uh, just build it i mean can't hurt right guys all right let's see how this army is doing come on men you need to fight harder China annexed Mongolia, guys. Unbelievable. So China actually took over all of Mongolia. China is bigger than ever now. And don't forget, we are playing modern-day mod. So the fact that China is that huge is just a little bit scary, to be honest with you. Um, if they did that uh, now, it would be a, a huge cause for concern. 
All right, Light Cavalry coming next turn. We're just going to keep pumping out that Light Cavalry, and I'm hoping this Recruitment Center uh, will actually be able to put these Light Cavalry out quickly. Of course, if we do win this war, um, I will immediately disband a whole bunch of these military units and try to get the economy back on track. Our economy is actually making money right now, believe it or not. We're making $41 a turn, uh, and that's pretty amazing, consist considering that our entire GDP is $6,449. Uh, I mean, there are some apartments here in New York that are worth more than Sierra Leone or than Sierra Leone or Liberia right now, apparently. So let's go ahead and move in. Mali is also directly to the north. Um, I almost want to ask them for assistance, but I don't think they would help, and I don't want to give them the glory anyway. Uh, but Mali is certainly somebody we want to look at for conquest if we do manage to win this war. And at this point, I mean, it's taking so long to break through, I'm not sure if we even can, or if we just need to go ahead and wait uh, to get some more equipment to actually beat these guys. Oh wow, now support for socialism has increased. We've got a lot of different people supporting different forms of government that don't necessarily conform to what we're trying to do here, um, and that's a problem. So we could very well have a revolution. Remember, Liberia is known for its constant revolutions, and it could change totally the status quo of our country. Um, right now, all we have to do is just keep up this conflict, and I think even if we were able to stop the war here and send our men back, we could stop a revolution. I'm not sure I'd want to in this case. Maybe this government is, uh, this republic is not not particularly effective um, at being a military superpower here in Africa. 15-3, okay, hey, we're getting closer to winning, guys, and we're also getting that light cavalry next turn. This could be a good sign. Come on, let's go. Doesn't seem to be much, many other things going on around the world right now. Of course, that annexation by China was pretty interesting, and so was the creation of the new state in Africa. Um, very, very interesting stuff here. One thing I love about making history is just all the possibilities that can occur in-game. Um, so unfortunately, the socialists were defeated there. We're going to go ahead and move our guy here. Pre-war borders. No! These guys are ridiculous, okay? We're going to move these guys in here. We're getting them down to two. Come on, we've got to win this. And now we should be 16 and 2. It's going to be 16 and 3, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, I hope you are enjoying this series. Of course, this is one hell of a war. It seems to never end. I wanted to make this episode a little extra long for you guys. Um, I do love playing this game, I must admit, and uh, it's just really fun. So this might be something that I do in the future and make slightly longer episodes of this particular series. And uh, all we can do now is wait. If any of you have any suggestions as to what to do now, you can. If you think we should end this war, be gone. We would never surrender. Well, maybe. If you guys can give me a good reason as to why or what to ask for. Um, we could be able to get some money from them, and there we go. We just got a research project completed. That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and look into something else. I think marine engines, or not marine engines, excuse me, military engineering or mass production will be our main focus. Uh, heavy industries. What about continuous distillation? We need to start making fuel. I think this is a good idea. 16.3, we're so close. Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Share your thoughts down below. Sh subscribe, share, etc. Comment, and uh, thank you for watching. Take care, guys, and have an awesome, awesome day. And glory to Liberia.